But content analysis is, is a coding method. Um, so you chop up the text into two, two sentence chunks. Well, Lexamancer chops it up into two sentence segments. You can change that. But two sentences is, it's an informed choice because that is kind of the length of a concept in, in a lot of text. Uh, you know, for people change topic. You know, they write or speak a couple of sentences, a paragraph, and then they'll talk about something else. And you can't, you can't chop up your text into you know too long a chunk because you know that it'll span too many different themes. Um, so, and then Lexamancer does a thing called latent content, latent concept discovery or latent content analysis. Um, it extracts concepts from the text. So here's an example of a concept that's been drawn, um, extracted from a particular document. And this is capturing the idea of a rifle. How does it capture it? It's a collection of words with weights, which predict the idea of a firearm in this particular data set. Um, so when Lex does that, when it extracts concepts and learns the vocabulary behind each one, it does it from the data in question. Uh, and that's really important rather than a lot of systems will build a concept somewhere else, some other data, some other time, and then you know they'll expect you to uh, apply it to your data. And, and that's, that's a really dangerous um, thing to do. You can end up creating you know, systematic error, uh, which, uh, uncontrolled systematic error. So yeah, I, I think it's really important to, to build the model of meaning uh, and vocab vocabulary on the data um, you're analyzing or data that is typical of the community and the context and the time that you're researching or analyzing. And so after that, uh, content analysis does coding. You, so it uses, uses these, these, these models, these concept models to predict whether a piece of text is talking about an idea. So this is an example of coding, coding uh, one or two sentence pieces of text with concepts that are found in them. And then once you've got the concepts, uh, it builds a, a model. The type of model or one of the types of model it builds is a concept map. This is a simple example of a concept map taken from market research. Um, there are aspects of it. What's the theme? What's the connection between themes? Uh, connections between themes are narratives and then distance. Distance is difference. You know, one, one part of the map that's a long way from the other part means something pretty, pretty different. It's a very different context. And uh, so you know, if you've seen Lake Sands before, you know that that's, you know, that's one of the models it produces is this uh, thematic uh, concept map of the data. But as I say, it's then up to you to, to do the sense making to interpret this model, or you can just use the models on the right or you know, whatever, whatever suits you, but it's, um, it's meant to take you to the, um, the places in the text uh, so you can get coverage, you can cover the data um, without too much prior um, bias, preconception. Um, you can kind of see uh, the clues of what's there. <clears throat> It's like having a, <coughs> sorry, a map of an undiscovered continent. You know, it shows you where the mountains and the rivers and the lakes are, and then you can go exploring those in the text. All right, so that's probably all I'll um, talk about the uh, content analytic background. Um, there are, you know, we, can, we give references. So if you want to know more about content analysis, Weber, uh, basic content analysis is a, is a good one. And of course, Lake Samantha has, um, a validation paper. The, um, the classic one is from 2006. So if you do use it in a research paper, that's probably the paper to cite. And then, uh, you know, there are plenty of examples, uh, easily over a thousand um, papers in the literature that have used Lexamancer. And you can find some of those on our website and a whole lot more on, on Google Scholar.